Hey everybody, Corydon here with a quick co-op review of Drake Alliance 3, where we spent about 20 hours in the game and plan on spending a lot more. I know the thumbnail that I have in the video is going to spoil the review scores, but I didn't want to waste your time if you just wanted to come in and get what people are saying about the game. I do want to preface the fact that I am using six mods to play the game, as my co-op partner wanted these mods to make the experience a bit more like Drake Alliance 2. Uh, we just pretty much up the weapon drops by about 10% and ammo drops a little bit higher just to make the experience a bit more classic for the older games. It also gives us the ability to make more multiple custom mercs because I think in the default game you can only make one, but I don't think it's going to change too much of the experience from what you get in the default, but it is a credit to the multiplayer for being able to allow six mods and not give us any trouble at all. For gameplay, I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10 as the only flaws I can really find have to do with the genre of turn based strategy itself or necessary annoyances to keep the multiplayer stable. It plays very similar to most turn-based strategy games like Divinity 2, War Tales, Wasteland 3, and I don't have experience with XCOM, but I bet it's like that too, but XCOM is a multiplayer game, so that's why I probably haven't played it. The game does a good job of letting you explore combat zones before actually starting the combat, and give you the option to go on a duo stealth mission to take out most of the enemies before combat even begins, if you wanted, or just the ability to uh, get in like high advantage positions and get ready to rain down uh, terror on the enemies. My biggest complaint here would be the inability to tell if an enemy has a counterattack move or being able to like see their perks if they're going to just turn around and blast you with a shotgun shell for shooting them. I know it's a perk that players get, but it'd be nice to know when uh, enemies have that too. Otherwise, the mechanics are all pretty solid. Story, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. It's been exceptional. The dialogue is fully voiced and well written, and each person there has their own distinct personality, which really shines through to the point where we've where the humor is so good with the characters that we'll sit in front of the uh, NPCs and figure out which is the best character to talk to the quest NPCs to get the best, uh, well, funniest outcomes or best outcomes that are <laughs> very fitting. There's uh, tons of references to pop culture and it, like I said, the humor is extremely good and it's been a real treat to like recognize most of those references, but it's not so many references that it takes you out of the immersion of the game. And the only nitpicks we have here that prevent it from getting a 10, there's like some options we would have really wanted in the game, like you take out a gang that's escorting a bus, and if you don't blow up the bus it doesn't give you an extra reward. Like we we would like it if the bus would actually like make it your travel time a lot less on the world map. And a few other options that we'd like that we go through our playthrough, but not big ones. Anyways, as for the multiplayer, the game is two players, and since we went to the game installing immediately six mods and the game was stable, I'm extremely happy with it. I hardly ever go into a game like that. We did have to align our mod settings after desyncing in the first combat, but the game has been very smooth sailing with only a desync occasionally happening, and it doesn't require a game restart. The host just clicks a button when he gets a message that I desynced, I get a bleed floating screen, and then I close the desync window and everything worked fine after that for the combat. Uh, the major complaint here is that Sometimes your actions are cancelled when the other player makes an action of their own, which causes sometimes I attack when I don't want to, or I throw a grenade in a bad spot because I'm trying to like do extra clicks. But you just want to communicate like whose turn it is and saying, okay, can you pause here so I can do this? And it is a little bit annoying when you're looting that anytime your partner does something while you're looting in their own loot windows, it closes your menus like when you're trying to transfer stuff to another character or move something to the squad box. But those are necessary options, probably to prevent the game from desyncing. And yeah, that's about it for my review. Thank you for watching, I hope it's quick enough, and y'all have a great day, remember to brush your teeth. Bye!